on page 146, number 35, we have the following. You're driving a 2,500 kilogram car at a constant uh, speed of 14 meters per second along an icy but straight level road. As you approach an intersection, the traffic light turns red, you slam on the brakes, your wheels lock, the tires begin skidding, and the car slides to a halt in a distance of 25 meters. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction between your tires and the icy road? So given, here's the icy road, here's your car, okay, your initial velocity is 14 meters per second, here you are hopefully stopped, okay, here's your car that's stopped, your velocity is equal to zero, delta x here was 25 meters, okay? And uh, the mass of this car is 2,500 kilograms. And what are we trying to find? We want to know, I think that this is the only thing we want to find, right, is we want to find the coefficient of kinetic friction, uh, mu, mu sub k. Because it's sliding, you, you've locked your wheels up, it's sliding friction. So uh, let's, uh, so let's solve it. Okay. Now, I always start with what I'm trying to find. Mu. There's only one equation with mu in it, and that is the force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. All right? That, that's one of our given equations. So I'll, let's go ahead and solve for mu. Mu equals the force of friction divided by the normal force. This tells me what to do. I need to figure out what the friction force is, and I need to figure out what the normal force is. So I'm dealing with forces. So now I'm going to um, do the procedure. I'm going to draw a free body diagram of the car. So here's the car. I've got gravity pulling it down. i got the normal force supporting that weight. And I've got a friction force like this. Now if I sum the forces in the y direction, Okay, there's Newton's second law in the y direction. I just go, oh, okay, I get the normal force minus the weight. See, I look at the free body diagram and that helps me construct this equation. There's no acceleration in the y direction. So the normal force is equal to mg, that's 2,500 kilograms times 9.8 Newtons per kilogram, yes? Now what does this equal? Somebody calculate that for me. What is it? 24,500 uh, Newtons. Okay, so there's my normal force that I'm going to put in there to figure out my coefficient of friction. Now I still need the force of friction, so I'm going to now go in the x direction. Sum the forces in the x direction equals ma in the x direction. Well, what are the forces? In, oh, there's only one of them. So the force of friction is the net force is equal to ma. Now I know what the mass is, but I don't know what the acceleration is. So this, but this tells me what to do. What do I need to do? Figure out what the acceleration is. Am I given enough information to do that? I know my initial velocity, my final velocity, and the displacement between, yes. I'm gonna use the fourth kinematic equation. Solve for the acceleration. There we go. So this is going to be uh, minus v naught squared divided by um, two delta x. This is zero. <coughs> so this is negative v naught is 14 meters per second. Square that divided by two times 25 meters. And what is our acceleration here? I think it was negative three point something. Negative three point nine two meters per second. Oh, I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense anyway. My, uh, negative three point nine two meters per second squared. You all agree with that? Now, this tells me what the acceleration is. So now I plug that in over here. So the force of friction is equal to 2,500 
um, kilograms times negative 3.92 meters per second squared. Now, what is it that when I multiply them together? I'm sorry? Okay. Now, um, you don't need the negative here because th th this is just the magnitude of the friction force divided by the magnitude of the normal force. So now I can figure out what mu is. The friction force is 9,800 newtons divided by the normal force, which we got to be 24,500 newtons. Newtons cancel newtons. It's dimensionless. And what is 9,800 divided by 24,500? It's 0.4. And actually, this problem is not very realistic. If that's a slippery surface, that's a pretty sticky road. But that's my answer. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Get it. That is all. Are you getting all that online here? Football tonight. All right.